Chris Gen Tech Forum. In this quick video, I'm going to talk about a new DNAC behavior, which may have confused all of you a little bit. So starting DNS Center 233X, if you upgraded to it or you built a new interface, you will see that you are encountering something called DNAC restrictive shell. So let's understand what is a DNAC restrictive shell and why Cisco decided to introduce that. This is for added security. Cisco DNA Center supports a restrictive shell. With a restrictive shell, user do not have access to the underlying operating system and file systems, which reduces operational risk. So you will have all those maglev, maxctl level access, but if you want to do something uh, with respect to operating systems like CD to certain directory, um, maybe do a copy function, all those things, uh, disk uses, all those things is masked uh, because you are in restrictive shell. So now you have two options for restrictive shell and how you can check the restrictive shell using maxctl SSH shell display. This will present what is your current shell look like and there are two output depend on your environment there are two output the one output could be bash that means you have operating system access but if you are in restrictive shell your shell display should say like mag shell and that is equivalent to restrictive shell so what you can do if you want an access you want access to the operating system for some reason then what are the options you have okay the first option you have is to use challenge the uh, challenge and response method that means you can log into your dns center and create a challenge string by using the command underscore shell hyphen s this will create a random challenge string then what do you have to do you have to copy that challenge string and take it to Cisco TAC or whatever channel you have and get it signed by Cisco. Once it is signed, what you will get? You will get a signed response string and you have to paste that response string to DNAC uh, terminal. And how you do that? You use the, again, the shell command underscore shell and this time hyphen V followed by the signed response string. Okay. So this is a challenge response method. The second option what you have, especially if you are in 233X, not sure about what happened when you go to 24, but if you are at 233X, you still have an option to disable restrictive shell entirely and fall back to the old behavior when you have unrestricted access to maglev and uh, uh, operating system that is the default shell as bash right so that's what you want to do and to do that what you can do underscore shell hyphen c and pseudo maxctl ssh shell bash so what it is doing it is actually instructing your shell to set bash as a default shell and when you are in bash shell you have unrestricted access again for some reason, if you want to re-enable max shell behavior, then all you have to do is repeat the command sudo maxctl ssh shell and convert it to max shell. That is it. So you may be wondering, here you have to add underscore shell because to start with, you were in max shell and you are moving to bash. So when you are in max shell, underscore shell command will work but if you are in bash shell already like in this case you don't have to use underscore shell you can simply use pseudo max ctl all right so we will see everything in action when i start showing you a demo here so let me bring my dna center cli a quick demo now so if i happen to connect to my DNA center, you can see maglev restrictive shell is active, but we will still go ahead and see what is my shell look like. I'm going to just copy paste the command I shown you earlier. 
you can see this is a maglev shell what is restricted here like any operating system related command du um, h okay. that works uh, see of time that is also available password going to any directory is unknown command so some operating system related commands are restricted what you can do though you can obviously perform maxctl commands like maxctl have stack status to see all your packages so few commands are restricted of operating system related what you can do you can create a challenge to uh, go to the bash shell let me show you bash what are the, my options here so with shell is used to access the bash shell and there are three options first is hyphen v so if you have a signed a challenge signed then you have to use option v to generate a token you need to say um, hyphen s and if you want to execute certain command then obviously hyphen c is a flag so let's see if we can generate a token no active concern token and uh, sometimes uh, it happened in this case i'm not getting any uh, challenge created but in your environment if you are running 233x you will probably see a string and you have to take that string and get it signed by cisco come back and use shell hyphen v and then the string here right so i'm sorry i cannot show you th that because i'm not in that release yet so what we can do we can go to shell directly with my release and you just have to put the password and now you can see i can execute those commands right so i am in mac shell uh bash shell and if you want to validate that let's validate that again this mac shell but i am able to put all my commands right so <clears throat> i'm still not in bash shell sorry about that okay let's exit from here and if i want to entirely disable my mac shell what i can do i can use underscore shell hyphen c because i want to execute this command and then okay successfully enable bash shell this will effect it from the next login right so this terminal will still showing mac shell but if we happen to disconnect and connect back again now you'll see i am not getting that warning that i'm in restrictive shell and once you put this this will be effective for all other user section sessions uh, not just one it's not tied to one particular user so all the users across your dna center um, they all have if they are accessing dnac cli they all are in bash shell let's go ahead and uh, verify one more time just to make sure that we are in bash shell now you can see we are in bash shell all right so mac shell bash shell i i suggest you stick to mac shell because you can do most of your work in mac shell but for some reason at all you want to connect to bash use challenge response method rather than disabling entirely uh, what you have seen in my case all right so thank you i i hope it was helpful video it uh, cleared some confusion so thank you for watching